can do it spot on mm -hmm. um, to what it would look like nat in the natural world at its most elite. This is a synthetic opal, Diamondique heart pundit done in sterling silver. It's on four easy payments of $22.19. This is colorful. It's vibrant. I'm going to throw shade on it because studio lights are not <gasps> friends. Oh. All right. Look at that now. There Stop. it is. Studio lights are not friends with opals, pearls, or mother of pearl. It'll wash them out. So if you remotely like what you're seeing on television, it'll be even more beautiful mm. in real life. And let me show you again. There it is with the studio lights burning it out. And there it is with a little bit of shade thrown on it. Um, so that is dynamite. Let's get a quick measurement on this. You're gonna get the bail, you're gonna get the necklace, and you're going you get to get the chain and the pendant. I beg your pardon. The pendant is one and a quarter inch um, uh, from top to bottom, including that uh, gorgeous diamond ink bail that's mm -hmm. on there. From side to side, you're at about one inch. The chain that it comes with is 18 inches um, in length, and it's about one sixteenth of an inch in width. It does come together with um, a C ring clasp. Ah, thanks, guys. Yeah, we can just put that over there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, gang. Um, four payments of twenty-two dollars and nineteen cents. That is beautiful. What do Isn't you think, it? Aaron? I've told the story before. The first time I saw our diamond opals, I was fooled. I walked into our buyer's office. I saw the piece sitting on the desk, and I said, "Oh, I love this. Is this the opal that we're looking to recreate?" Mm -hmm. And they said, "No. This is what we finally come up with. This is the diamondique version of the opal." Mm -hmm. I collect opals. They're near and dear to my heart because my son Cooper is born in October. My mom and her twin sister are born in October. My niece Emerson is born in October. It's a real family gemstone to me. Mm -hmm. So I love to be able to create to collect opal as the birthstone, but there's so many times where you can be let down by an opal mm -hmm. because it doesn't have that play of color. It, it doesn't have life. It's just sort of flat. Mm -hmm. This is unreal. Yeah. I mean, it has these flashes of reds and that's what you search for in the finest opals you could hope to find. Yeah. Now I'm going to turn this around to you a little bit and let's see if you see what I see in this heart shaped necklace. Mm -hmm. Okay. The design of it. Yeah. I'll say one word. Yeah. Mufasa. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Am I right? You're absolutely right. You and you, your kiddos? My kids, absolutely. They have the heart of a lion. Right? Um, I, I tell you what, it's funny because while you were talking, Dan, the line producer, just said um, to me, he said, Antrella, are those opals attached or do they swing? It looks like Don't. almost a swag. Right? They have them, but they're, they're fully attached. Mm -hmm. They're fully attached. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so beautifully done the way that it does. It has almost like this lion's mane. Right? Of, that's yeah. I saw. And to have the heart of a lion. And my daughter's an October baby, so I'm, oh, my sister's in October. Yeah, I'm the same family as mm -hmm. you. Lots of Octobers. Um, but what you look for in an opal is, like Aaron said, those flashes of reds and blues that come out. That tells you. And, and, you know, I don't know about you, but opals can be very, very expensive. And mm -hmm. like you said, they can let you down because, mm -hmm. uh, and they're, uh, you know, they're not the strongest on the most hardness scale. Correct. Um, so I've heard of people telling me nightmare stories where they was saved an opal and took really good care of it and went to wear it for a special occasion, pulled it out of the jewelry box or the case, mm -hmm. and it was cracked. So because my mom's ring happened to her. Oh, yeah, she okay. wore one for years and it was beautiful. Um, I've I hate to say it, it makes me cringe. I've dropped an opal before. Oh dear. Oh dear. Jeff had brought one back from the Tucson Gem Show, and oh I looked my. at it, and it dropped, and we had to have it recut, and <gasps> we lost some of the carrot weight to that opal. Oh, oh. it breaks my heart just saying it. Oh, I know. I kind of don't like you anymore. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it was that a real accident. Is, oh. <laughs> Remind me never to hand over any of my jewelry well, to you. Well, it just, it wasn't on purpose. Oh boy, now I've got to work my way back in your good books again. I just got there. Mm -hmm. I know, you did just get there, <laughs> now you're out again. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Drops oh. an opal. Oh dear. It just slipped. Mm -hmm. Three, four, eight, five. She's seen Jeff's face. I'm five. He must really love you, girl. He sure does. Oh my gosh. Four easy payments. <laughs> $22.19. <laughs> it is beautiful. And honestly, it's, it is hard to really let you see the color of it mm -hmm. because of the studio lights. I say this all the time. Again, I'm going to throw that shade so you can see the difference. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's white and milky there. It's colorful with greens and reds and purples there. It really does have that lion's mane to it in opal. And then that beautiful sparkle of heart with the diamondique stones. About three tenths of a carat on those diamondique stones. We don't do that very often. So um, take advantage of us having that opal. We only do it 
when the when that grows properly and is cut properly. So, okay, now I did want to let you know that we do have a cross pendant coming up. There it is on your screen, just in time for Easter and Green.